What up, y'all? Dan VR. Today, I'm gonna be talking about this week's update. The changes they made, the hotfixes coming through, etc., etc. So, the first set of hotfixes we have is a destructive rework. Uh, it's essentially how that worked. It used to be the move where, like, you get parried by a heavy and it posture breaks you. Now it just increases your posture, really. It doesn't just fuck you over like that. Um, a big one is they changed how the blind seer uh, progression works. You used to have to be able to get five cards, being unyielding focus, disbelief, encouraging presence, conquer your fears, and then mental fortress. However, now you only need to get, I think, two. So unyielding focus and disbelief have now been turned into one card. And then encouraging presence and conquer your fears have been turned into one card. So this makes it a little easier to get through the progression. It was a bit awkward at first when you had to literally get five different cards. Especially in the old progression when maybe you're getting these cards in a hand with other talents you really need. So the second set of changes... They said that flourishing now works with guns correctly. That's a plus. I didn't really realize that was a thing. Rending impact now has extended knockdown frames. Previously, it didn't actually do too much. That's just a nice little change. Uh, solar now steals tempo instead of ether. This is massive. Tempo, tempo is super important. So for solar to steal ether, it just went from like fucking F tier to a, a solid A tier, I would say. It used to be pretty bad. Uh, remove the intelligence requirement from contractor. Ministry rep gain increased from all sources. They just made it a little easier for people to get contractor. I know when the methods first dropped, it was super annoying to get. Dread Serpent Breath now stuns. That's a little cool. Beast Burrow increased from 10 to 15 seconds. Beast Burrow is actually pretty strong, so it's good. good thing that the cooldowns increased a little bit. Enforcer pool range significantly decreased, and Enforcer pool now has a small amount of end lag. This should help with you, like, getting pulled mid-fight and just comboed instantly. You know, little just, uh, little changes here and there to make things a little nicer. Uh, big one at the bottom, though. If you enter layer 2, floor 2, your light hook is always reduced down to 10 minutes max. Uh, this is what I talked about in a previous video, about how I felt like floor 2, layer 2 is a little too easy. This now uh, sort of makes it harder for the player. Because it used to be, you know, I could speed run floor one in like five minutes. And then I have a 15 minute light hook, right? To get through uh, floor two. But uh, this now ups the challenge. I think that this is a good idea. I'm happy to see that. Going into the final set of changes that they added this update. You can no longer equip the grand... Uh, with Sunad, whatever, the Ice Axe as a contractor. I have no idea why they chose that, but whatever. Fixed Lord Regent being too lenient. Okay, so this is just, you know, just contractor progression. Fixed being able to re-enter Trial of 1 if you failed at the Sharko Trial. Fixed being able to get Oathless and Link Strider at the same time. Fixed getting stuck after donating a book. You can no longer leave and leave and rejoin during the Chaser fight. Mobs have the same allegiance, no longer aggro on each other or grip each other anymore. Oh, what? That's a little bit unfortunate. Whatever. But at the bottom here, another big one lowered the damage of Star Kindred's Fireblade variant. That was way too strong. You could straight up get one shot by that thing. Or not one shot, but it would do like a bar. And you'd get auto grip by it. I'm just, I'm happy to see the little changes. But hey, that was a quick rundown of like the biggest changes this week. I'll catch you guys next week with another update.